Hi fishy folks and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Guys, before we get started, you know the drill. Go ahead and obliterate that subscription button. Gently boop the notification bell. Check out michaelsfishroom.com. Check out supercichlets.com. Check out kingandqueenofcichlets.com. And uh, just overall check out the goodness that I recommend. All right, fishy folks, today's the day. Sea Chem Title 55 Unboxing and Review. Go get a snack and a beverage and stand by. All right, fishy folks, you guys, a lot of you told me uh, aqua clears are crap. Sea Chem titles are where it's at. So I went out and bought one and I'm going to let you know what I think. A couple of things about this um, filter it's made by an Italian company. Maybe it's fragile. Maybe it's not. Anyway, uh, the big thing that people say about this is because the pump is under the water level, it restarts when there's a power outage, which aqua clears most of the time don't do. I've had it do it sometimes. I've had them not do it. I know plenty of people that have it not do it and they've had problems after a power outage, especially the power happens when they're not home and they don't know, so they don't go to check their filters right away. So I'm gonna do an unboxing. I don't really know anything about this filter other than a lot of people have told me about it and it's a little pricey compared to the Aqua Clear. A couple people have told me they're noisy when the water level gets low because it has a surface skimmer. A couple of people told me the media uh, area is kind of small, especially compared to the Aqua Clear, which is what I like about it so much. I'm gonna be the judge. All right, let's see what we got here. By the way, I got this on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check it out. Uh, none of my local fish stores carry them. Well, one of my local fish stores did, but I don't really go there. I don't like the store. I don't like giving them business, so I didn't uh, go there. Pretty big manual. I'm assuming it's going to be in multiple languages, which is why it's so, so thick. Yeah, there's German. There's another language. There's Spanish. So, yeah, quite a bit of... of uh, different instructions. Let's see if I can figure out how to get it out of the box, eh? I'll just turn Canadian for a second. All right, nothing else in here. So this is for up to 55 gallons. Comes with Seachem Matrix, which looks like rocks. The media basket looks pretty big, to be honest. I don't know what that person was saying. Let's see if I can figure out how to take it out without breaking anything. Nope, apparently I can't. Oh, there's that little clip. Oh, it's got a clip to hold it in so it doesn't float up. So here's the media basket. It's not a bad size. The sponge is kind of small. All right, let's see what the instructions say. On. So, it's got this clip right here that slides, which is nice. It's got a neat little doohickey here. Here's the motor, which I'm assuming comes off. Of course, I don't want to break it, so we're just going to leave that for now. Here's our media. Now, it comes in a nice zipper pouch. I don't know if you can see all the smoke coming out of it. All the, the dust, not smoke, it's dust. Um, so you definitely got to watch it. It's a pretty big zipper pouch with uh, Seachem Matrix. I've never used Seachem Matrix. I'm not a big brand name guy. I'd much rather use Lava Rock, which is cheaper and probably just as good. All right, I got Matrix dust all over. A lot of little pieces in this little box. So... Heater holder, remove the pump case before. Leveling dial, that's kind of cool. And telescoping intake tube. Telescoping intake tube. Ah, so there's a little channel here in the bottom tube. Just match that up with the little thingy thing. And, okay. Leveling dial. Alright. I'm picking up what you're putting down. 
Maybe. You'd think I'd be able to install this fairly easily without really instructions because I'm not that dumb. Yeah. All right, fishy folks. I'm going to get this ready. Hopefully uh, not while embarrassing myself on video anymore. And uh, stand by. All right, fishy folks, that was way more difficult than I made it out to be. Of course, I overcomplicated it because I'm an idiot. Anyway, I got it all set up. I uh, put the intake tube here. This little doohickey, which feels really cheap, uh, controls the flow. There's also flow control up here. Uh, I washed my CPEM matrix off, and we're going to lay it in here. What I don't like about uh, the filter, the media basket is it's an odd shape. It's not just square. So you'd have to cut sponges. And I'm lazy, I don't want to cut sponges. I added the uh, heater holder, which I guess is a kind of a neat feature. Um, you don't have to worry about the heater suction cups failing. Uh, I installed the leveler, which Again, I made way more difficult than I should have. I actually like this idea. It seems like it, it's pretty good. I did remove the pump housing to see what's under there. So far, so good. Okay, so this is the Seachem Title 55. And it looks like they make 55, 75, and 110. The 55 is uh, 250 US gallons per hour or 1,000 liters per hour fits up to a 55 gallon tank or a 200 liter tank. And the filter volume is uh, a third of a gallon or 1.2 liters. The 75 is 350 US gallons per hour, 1500 liters per hour, and the Title 110, 450 US gallons per hour or 2000 liters per hour. The Title 110's um, filter volume is almost a gallon that's pretty big I would say I don't know what the shape is I would assume it's the same basic shape with that little cutout that little notch not a fan of that so far it's the only thing I don't like the filter feels okay it doesn't feel superior than aqua clear although some people say the aqua clear aqua clear plastic uh, has definitely gotten gotten cheaper since they moved production to China and for those that think I'm a racist because I call a China filter a China filter, you can suck it. It's just where it's made, and I can't pronounce the name. All right, so we're going to install this on the dirtiest tank I have, which is a Pleco tank. And um, we're going to see. I'm going to I'm going to leave it how it is. I'm not going to make any adjustments to the filter media for now. I'm going to let it go for the day, and uh, I'll come back and see what the filter, what the tank looks like. I'll show you in the tank, of course, and uh, I'll show you how much it's clean and what the filter looks like, so the sponge looks like. So talk amongst yourselves. For me, it's going to be a couple hours. For you, it's just going to be seconds, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, fishy folks, I decided to put it on my dirtiest tank, which is the lemon blue eye uh, bushy nose plecos or bristle nose plecos. Uh, I overfeed the crap out of this tank because there's uh, eight fully grown adults and different size juveniles and fry. You can see in there, you can see some fry. I also added the zeolite uh, uh, that Rock Lady sent me from Third Planet Treasures. Uh, this tank has three sponge filters that always need to be clean no matter what. And I do have a hang on the back and I do extra water changes. You can see I have a big half inch PVC pipe and uh, I think three regular water lines going here. Just so you know, plans for the fish room, which I'll be filming this weekend upgrades. I'm gonna add a third zone just for Pleco tanks. So look for that video sometime soon. All right, hung the title 55. I don't like that it's kind of crooked. This looks crooked to me, but what are you gonna do? Uh, I had this all the way extended to the bottom and I thought I should pick it up a little bit so little baby pluckos don't get sucked up. And let's plug it in and see how long it takes to start. It's completely dry. So let's see what happens. I hear it sucking. 
This is interesting. It filled up pretty damn quick, I gotta be honest. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, let's mess with, let's put this over here, try not to spill it. So this seems to obviously increase and decrease flow. We're gonna make it as fast as possible. We will put this lid back on and wait, I'm pretty excited to be honest. Not sure I like the price difference from the Aqua Clear, but it's got some pretty neat features so far. I'm gonna see how good it does over the next couple hours and I'll be back. Refill your stank and beverage if you need to. Hi, fishy folks, welcome back. The Title 55 has been running uh, in my Lemon Blue Eye Bristle Nose tank for about six hours now. Uh, the water's marginally clearer but it's there's definitely less detritus on the bottom of the tank and uh what i don't like is there's a lot of detritus in the um chamber itself i feel like that that one sponge isn't good enough for that particular function so i'm just gonna i mean you see all the brown water it's a little a little funky if you ask me and so here's the the bag of um, media it's all dirty and funky and the sponge isn't really dirty it doesn't seem to be trapping the amount of detritus that I want now you guys in a regular community tank it's probably fine I'm gonna try to supercharge this a little bit I'm going to put uh, the foam back in then I'm gonna go ahead and put some uh, filter floss and then some more foam on top and see if that kind of clears up the water a little bit but overall I think it's a great filter for um, a community tank I like the fact that it does start um, if the water goes out it is pretty quiet I haven't let the water go down a little bit it does have some pretty neat features I just don't know if it's worth the money over an aqua clear I guess here's the deal if you're uh, power goes out frequently and you know you don't remember to start your filters that's definitely an added bonus I mean I like the filter don't get me wrong I'm just not convinced it's that much better than the aqua clear maybe as time goes on we'll see all right guys that's it for the Seachem title 55 review and unboxing hope you guys liked it check out the links below if you want to buy it and don't forget to check out Michael's fish room see ya folks and happy today I don't know what day I'm gonna release this video to be honest I'm making five videos in the next couple days to be released while I'm in California and over the weekend and this is stupid you don't really care hi fishy folks and happy fry fry Friday to you guys today's the day unboxing and review of the title I should probably know who makes it Start over.